Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, let me extend my warmest greetings to all the participants of the second session of the United Nations Habitat Assembly in Nairobi. Currently, the United Nations is leading some crucial global undertakings. Understanding the root causes of the most complex crisis of the last 75 years. Implementing an ambitious sustainability development agenda. And protecting the planet from the scourge of climate change. UN Habitat plays a vital role in all these endeavors. Cities are in the epicenter of the converging crisis we currently face. From migration to climate change and conflicts, the cumulative effects of these phenomena are magnified in urban areas, in particular in developing countries. So, how can we make our cities inclusive, safe, resilient and sustainable? First, we need comprehensive data and statistics collection and dissemination. Second, governments must monitor the spatial distribution of future populations to assess risk associated with climate change such as flooding, heat waves, epidemics, food security and freshwater availability. But what we urgently need is a mindset shift. From a business as usual planning and operation to one aiming at real sustainability transformation. This means strengthening the science policy interface advancing evidence-based solutions and approaching our goals holistically. In your discussions this week, I invite you to explore how we can ensure that our approach to sustainability transformation better reflects the role of cities in our world. Ladies and gentlemen, the lagging in SDG implementation is a universal problem. However, it is the people living in the developing countries, including those in special situations, who often bear the brunt of the crises we face. We urgently need political will, commitment, solidarity, financing and action. The COVID-19 pandemic has shown us that we are capable of implementing massive, radical and transformative action when humanity is under threat. We must build on this momentum and mobilize political commitments and breakthroughs. Head of the, of the SDG summit, I invite you to review the lessons learned from the national voluntary, voluntary reviews unlock new commitments and adopt innovative policies based on scientific inputs. The SDG Summit in September will be an opportunity to commit to the implementation of bold and game-changing solutions, including in urban areas. Understanding the interdependence of the global goals is crucial to unlocking their full potential, optimizing resources and achieving successful outcomes. I'm confident that this second session of the UN Habitat Assembly will yield fruitful outcomes. I eagerly await the results. Thank you.